Hello, I'm Ross, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a full stack web application using vanilla JavaScript with Vite and a project I've been working on called Domco. We'll be going through the tutorial today. You'll need to have a server side JavaScript runtime installed on your computer. I'm going to use Node and npm as my package manager. So let's run npm create domco at latest. And this will scaffold out a new project for us. And I'm going to add prettier for formatting. Uh, next we'll install our dependencies with npm. And this is one of the great things about domco. You'll see all of each dependencies in here. And then you'll also see domco. Um, when you add domco in addition to Vite, you're not actually adding any more dependencies into your project. Domco's only dependency is Vite. So it keeps your node modules folder small, and this helps ensure your builds stay fast and you're not having to rely on a bunch of different packages to create your application. You'll see that Domco identifies the entry points of your application by file name. So these are prefixed with the plus to make them go to the top of your directory if you've got other things in there, and also just to make them easily identifiable. The server entry point for your application is the plus func dot tsjs file. And in this module, we'll export a handler function that takes in a web request and returns a response. Uh, so a lot of the server-side JavaScript runtimes, Dino, Bun, um, and you'll hear the uh, winter CG group is having our server-side runtime standardized around these web APIs. So Domco allows you to use these requests and response APIs within Vite, um, even in their development server. So you can create a handler function that takes in a request and returns a response. So at its most basic, this would be your minimum uh, function, and this would basically return a response for any request that comes into your server, it would return the same response, hello world. So from here, it's up to you. You could route different requests to different responses based on the URL, which is how the template sets it up here. Um, so you can see we're taking in that request, we're creating a new URL object from it, and getting the path name out. And if the path name is the root or just the slash, we'll return our HTML page, which we'll get into next. The client entry point, uh, there's two. The first one is in HTML. So that's the plus page.html file. And you can see this is just a normal HTML file here. Um, nothing special. The main thing that Domco does for you is you'll see that we have these assets linked like a CSS file, or maybe you'll have a JavaScript file linked here. If you were to just import the raw text and use it in your server code without Domco, you would not have these links get updated or you wouldn't have the transform hook that runs during the build process run on this HTML page. But with Domco, it's created a virtual module, this client page virtual module, and it will allow you to get the transformed result of that HTML page and send it. So that's what we're doing here when we're returning this as a response. Let's run our development server and we can see that in action. So you can see we've got our HTML page here. If you make any changes, you can see those reflected on the page. Also, you can see we can make changes in here. So say we're going to add some text to our HTML file and we can do that as well. And you can see it pop up there. So you have access to um, your code both on the client and the server. The next entry point is a script. Um, so you can also have a script entry point. So say you want to include some client side JavaScript within a HTML response, but you don't want to actually create a page for that HTML response. You just want to have the HTML generated on the server. Well, you can still include a script and get the tags for that script using Domco's virtual modules. So we'll set that up here. Let's create a new script and we'll just log hello world. 
And then inside of our function, let's create a new route. And maybe we'll call it partial. And we'll return an HTML partial. So let's return a new response again. And this time, it's going to be a partial. And let's just make it an H1 tag. And we can make sure that's working. So we'll go to navigate to slash partial. And that's our hello world response. So what if we want to add in some client side JavaScript? Well, usually you would need to create a page or use a framework component here. Well, with Domco, you can also import the tags for any entry point, and you say client script, and that will give you the tags. So you can import the tags for any entry point. Um, in development, the HTML script tag will be directly linked, and then in production, it will read your Vite manifest to find the hashed file names of those scripts after the build has been completed. So let's go ahead and we'll just include those tags directly here. And you can see when we load our page, our hello world has appeared there. Um, so this comes with um, reloading. So say if we change this to worlds, um, you'll see that that updates there. Um, and you can also import any styles in here as well. But it's pretty simple. You can see that our tags are also inline in here. And those are linked to the um, hashed asset names. Domco also allows you to pre-render routes. So you can say export const pre-render and that will be our pre-render type. And all it is is a list of routes that you want to pre-render. So let's pre-render the uh, root route and we'll run npm run build again. And you can see this time we've pre-rendered static pages. So Domco imports your function um, and then it'll make a web request to your handler function with the route that you provide. Um, in this case, we only provided one route, so it's just going to generate dist client index.html and it did it in four milliseconds. So the whole process took five milliseconds and we can now, in our client build, we can see that we have that index.html page here. And this is our pre-rendered response with our updated assets here as well. Finally, Domco makes it really easy to deploy your application. Um, right now, Domco supports three different adapters. There's a Vercel, Cloudflare, and Dino Deploy adapter. Um, you can import those adapters directly from the package and then add the adapter within your Beat plugin. And you can run npm run build. And you can see we have one more step now and it created a Vercel build. And you can go into that directory and you can see that we have um, functions generated using the Vercel build output API so Vercel can pick up these functions and uh, serve the static assets on their CDN. If you'd like to change your deployment provider, you can easily swap it out. So in this example, we can build with Cloudflare. And now we have a Cloudflare build um, with all of our assets being served on Cloudflare CDN and our function running on Cloudflare instead of Vercel. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of Domco. If anyone would like to try it out, uh, feel free to provide feedback in the comments and let me know if you like this video. Thanks for watching.